In this video, we're gonna be talking about nine uncommon passive income ideas for 2023. Leveraging new technology that most people aren't even aware with. Artificial intelligence and some of the new technology is making earning passive income easier than ever before. And in this video, I'm gonna cover nine different passive income ideas for 2023 that could make you up to $50,000 or even more per month. And yes, we're all already aware that you can make money passively by doing Airbnb or renting your car out on Uber or doing affiliate marketing or earning AdSense from YouTube channels. So this is not what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna think outside the box and think of nine uncommon ways to earn passive income. And I'm gonna rate each one on a scale of one to 10 in three different categories. One is going to be how passive it is. Two is going to be what is the actual earning potential. And three is going to be how much capital is actually required. Okay, so let's dive right into this. Number nine is to create a video marketing agency leveraging some AI tools that'll make this project almost completely passive. As you know, video is all the rage and is only gonna get bigger and bigger, but more specifically, short form video with YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram have become wildly popular and are only going to become even more popular. Now, the beautiful thing about this is you could start your very own video marketing agency and have clients paying you anywhere from a thousand to like $5,000 per month, and you can do all the work simply leveraging a tool like wisecut.video. If you've never seen this before, is essentially you can upload long form video like a YouTube video into this platform and it'll automatically cut out all the uhs, the ums, it'll do jump cuts, it'll do zoom cuts. It will also put the captions like you see on so many of the short form video just like this and it'll add background music, master the audio and basically do everything that would be required from a professional video editor and all you literally have to do is upload a long form video and then you just select the text that you want it to turn into a short form video. So a process that used to take maybe an hour to create, you can now create in the matter of just a couple of minutes. Another tool that I really like is something called Content Fries. Essentially, it's a similar service where you can multiply your content really quickly by turning long form video into short form. You'll have to see which one that you like, but they do very similar things. And the beautiful thing about this is you may be thinking, well, Adam, you know, that's not that passive. And the reality is you can train one virtual assistant. You may be spending spend a week or so of your time training them. You can then go put up your job description post on Upwork and you can teach them how to get jobs from Upwork. You can also go to other influencers or business owners that are, that are already putting out long form content on platforms like YouTube and you could just send them a couple of free samples because it just takes you a minute or so to do it. Show them and then say, hey, would you like me to do this for you? I'll do it for every single one of your video. I'll turn each video into three different short form videos and I'll only charge you say a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars per month. Your VA can run the entire shop and you get to collect the vast majority of the profits. So while it does require a little bit of time to get started with this, at the same time, it can be very passive and you can earn quite a bit of money. So as far as how do I rate this actual opportunity, as far as the capital required, I'm gonna rate it as an eight because you don't really need much capital. It's you know a small monthly fee for wise cut or for content fries. And then you just pay a VA, which you know maybe you can pay them around a thousand dollars per month. So it doesn't require a lot of capital. I would rate the passiveness of this opportunity. I'd rate it a five because it does require a little of time to get this thing going, but if you can find one good VA, then he can pretty much run the show. And I'd give the earning potential an eight because if you get good at this, all you need to do is go out there and give these free examples to as many influencers as possible, and you're gonna start picking up clients. And so this is actually an idea that you could earn 10 or $20,000 per month in passive income. So I'd rate the earning potential an eight in an overall score of a seven. Okay, number eight on the list is something called peer-to-peer -peer lending. And this is essentially allowing people like me and you to get involved in the lending businesses, which is how most of the big banks make their money, right? You deposit your money into the bank, they go take that money and they lend it out to other people and they earn interest. So the best way that you could do this is by using one of the platforms like this. And again, I'm not getting paid by any of these platforms to tell you about them. I'm just telling you about them because they actually work well. One of the platforms is something called yieldstreet.com. And essentially what it does is allows you to come into here and you can decide on what asset class you'd like to 
invest in. You can say if you'd like to have it for growth or for income or for balance. And you can also say what you want your minimum investment to be. And then you can come in here and you can see the annual return that you would get. And you do get paid out generally on a monthly basis. So in this term, you get paid out monthly income. You can see it's about 11% per year. Now, the best part about these platforms is that they do all the hard work for you. So essentially all you have to do is sign up to the platform. You deposit your money, do some KYC sort of stuff, and then boom, you're off and running and you can start earning monthly checks via peer-to-peer -peer lending. And in this particular scenario, it's lending for consumer health and wellness financing. You can also see there's a lot of other investment opportunities like into a real estate fund. Here's another build for rent uh, portfolio. You can see that there's a consumer lender. You can see you can lend for a multifamily type of situation and a whole bunch of different opportunities here. You can just sort through here, see whatever opportunity you'd like to invest in, and then you start lending your money. So here's how I'd rate this peer-to-peer -peer lending opportunity. And again, there's a lot of other platforms besides Yield Street. As far as the capital required goes, I give it a six because you do need some capital required in order to earn any decent sort of money. I'd give the passiveness of this opportunity a 10 because you just insert the money and then you're pretty much done and you get your monthly check. As far as the earning potential goes, I'd give this a four because most of the lending programs on this platform, you're gonna see anywhere from like six to 15%, which is not crazy high opportunity, but it is very, very passive. So if you're looking for something more passive, then this may be something that you'd be interested in. The average score is a 6.7 on this opportunity. So number seven is buying a small business. Now in today's economy, currently interest rates are high. And so prices of businesses are falling because money is more expensive. And also we see record heights of baby boomers that are retiring with businesses where 90% of these businesses will never sell. So there's a unique opportunity to come in and scoop up businesses that have been run for 10 years that already have a great product, that already have a great system with an owner that already knows how to do this. And you can buy these businesses for relatively cheap. And the best part is, is you can buy them with as little as only 10%. So one of the best websites to find out how to do this is called Biz Buy Sell. You can come in here and you can see, for example, I put in Texas. You can also select whatever industry you're interested in. I said just pet services for an example. And I can see that I wanted to buy businesses under $2 million. And then I went in here also and I said that I wanted to have at least $100,000 in profit or in cash flow. And I also gone ahead and I put in the word absentee. Absentee means that the owner of this business can be absent from the business and it can still run. And that's the reason you can consider this a passive income opportunity. Other businesses would be things like laundromats or maybe dry cleaning sort of situations, car washes you can find a lot on here. For example, here's a, a dog boarding facility in Montgomery County, Texas. You can see they're selling it $250,000, meaning that I could buy this business for only 10% down. I can use something called SBA financing to finance the rest of the business, which would basically allow me to have immediate cash flow of $137,000 per year, which is pretty cool. If you want a little bit bigger opportunity, here's a mobile pet grooming business that I actually saw on this list on this site, it has $407,000 per year in cash flow, and it's asking price is about $1.5 million. And the cool part about this is you could put down as little as $150,000, or you may be able to arrange certain scenarios with the seller, depending on how motivated they are, to put as little as zero money down to get this business, and you'll have $407,000 with the cash flow. Now, after you pay your loan payment to the SBA, maybe you have about $25,000 a month or $20,000 a month in passive cash flow. So as far as how I'd rate this opportunity, I'd give it a six as far as the capital that's required because it does require some capital to get into this business unless you're looking to buy something really small, like you're looking to buy a pool route or something like that, then you can get into the game a little bit cheaper. As far as passiveness goes, I'd give it a five because the reality is the due diligence process to find a business and learn about the business is generally gonna take you quite a bit of time. It's gonna take you probably three months and then to learn how the business works once you buy it, probably another three months to get you know somebody in there that can run the business. So it's, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get up and going, but if you buy the right opportunity, you can buy quite a bit of cash flow. And I give the earning potential, I'd give it a 10 actually, because look at this. This is an opportunity where you could go in, you could buy a business and you could make 20, 30, 40. Some businesses, you could have $50,000 per month in cash flow. So overall, I'd give this opportunity a seven out of 10 rating. The next opportunity is to invest in crowdsourced real estate deals. As you know, real estate has been one of the secrets of the wealthy for many, many years. It's not even a secret. It's just a known fact that a lot of wealthy people will invest in real estate for 
the tax advantages for appreciation and for cash flow. Now, previously, it's been really difficult to do this. You need to have expertise or you need to hire some sort of management company, but there's easier ways that are coming now with these crowdsourced real estate investment platforms, like something like a fundrise.com. And essentially, this works similar to the peer-to-peer -peer lending program where they basically handle all of the due diligence, finding the deals, closing the deals, rehabbing the deals, finding the tenants, all of that sort of stuff. And you can just be an investor into the platform and start to earn passive income. So as far as the capital required goes, I'd give this a seven because you are gonna need a little bit of capital to get started and especially to earn any sort of sizable gains. As far as the passiveness goes, I'd give this a 10 out of 10 because all you need to do is sign up for the platform, you give the money to it and boom, you start earning passive income. It requires literally no work on your end. And as far as the earning potential goes, I'd give this a four because the earning potential is not gonna be really high. Again, you're gonna likely see 10, 12, 15% maybe by investing in a platform like Fundrise or other crowdsourced real estate investment platforms. So overall, on average for this opportunity, I'd give it a seven. Number five is something called Bubble.io Arbitrage. Now, I'm guessing that probably nobody really knows about this opportunity, but it is huge. So take a look at this. This is a no-code platform, which can allow you to build apps and softwares and websites literally with the click of a button. And I'll show you how to arbitrage this opportunity. Essentially, the opportunity here is to rebuild softwares or CRMs or websites or platforms or marketplaces for businesses that would need them. You can charge an extremely high fee and you can get this done for literally a couple hundred bucks or maybe like a thousand bucks. And the even bigger opportunity here is is you can essentially, with like a click of a button, white label platforms like Airbnb, Uber, different social media platforms or other apps that are really helpful or useful in America, and you can go and take that to another country, you can make it explode and you can literally have a multi-million or even billion dollar opportunity by taking these platforms to different countries and gaining market share. So just to give you an idea, let's say that you're into the crypto space, you can go ahead and you can just basically download this template, which is gonna have you like an ID or initial DEX offering landing page platforms. You can bring this to cryptocurrency projects. You can also click on ICO landing pages for any cryptocurrency projects that need a website done. You'll see this more and more. There's gonna be a massive demand for cryptocurrency projects and they all need websites. So this is a really simple way that you could simply sell them a website. You click a few buttons and boom, you have it ready for them. Or you could go around to agency owners and you could basically offer to rebuild their website just using a template like this. Now, here's where it gets even crazier crazier. For example, like Airbnb, if you think about the millions, maybe billions of dollars that it's taken to uh, build their platform, you can basically come in here and you can just swipe it and you can have your own Airbnb lookalike essentially platform with all of the functionality, not just the fact that it looks similar, but all of the functionality as well. You can also come in and replace a site like Fiverr, which is an online marketplace where you can basically build your own Fiverr or any marketplace. So if you're in a certain industry that has a use case for a certain marketplace, this is a massive opportunity. And if you're familiar with NFTs, you can even rebuild an entire NFT marketplace like OpenSea with a click of a button. I mean, just look at this. You can re literally rebuild Amazon. You can literally rebuild Udemy. You can literally build your own cryptocurrency exchange platform just with a few clicks of a button using bubble.io. So the opportunity here is massive. And while maybe this isn't the most passive opportunity, still it's something that I would say is quite uncommon. And I think there's a massive arbitrage opportunity here. So as far as how I'd rate this as far as capital required, I'd give it like a seven because you really don't need much capital required. Maybe you want to hire a developer from Bubble, which there's plenty of them, which can basically oversee and make the project actually happen. As far as passiveness goes, I'd give this a four. It's not very passive opportunity, I'd say, uh, but it still can be a passive opportunity if you're just selling websites or something the like. And as far as earning potential goes, I'd give it an eight. So overall, I'd give this an average score of 6.3 with the earning potential being very, very high with new apps that come on. If you can take that to a new market or a new industry, or you can take it to even a new country, the opportunity is very, very big. Number four is staking cryptocurrencies. As you know, cryptocurrencies are becoming more and more popular and they're only gonna get more and more popular. So there's awesome opportunities to earn passive income, whether you're wanting to be exposed to the crypto market or not, which is the cool part. So there's two main websites that I like to use. One is called DeFiLama.com and one is called called nanoli.com and essentially with this platform you can come in here under yields 
and you can type and you can click stable coin pools and then you can sort by APY. So here you can basically just stake USDC, which is basically pegged one to one to the US dollar and you can earn like 23% simply by staking your coins here. Or you can also stake here and earn like 15%, which is really pretty cool. You can also come in here and filter by token. So let's say that you do own some Bitcoin. You can see where are the best places to actually stake my Bitcoin and earn some passive income. And you can see all of the different opportunities here. Now the same thing works for Nanoli. It's just a little bit different platform. You can go in here and you can say whatever cryptocurrency you'd like to stake, or maybe you'd just like to stake stable coins and you can see the different opportunities to earn. So as far as capital required goes, I'd say an eight because you actually don't really need much capital at all. You can start staking with as little as like, I don't know, 10 bucks less. You could do 15 bucks, whatever you want to get started. But obviously the more money you have, the more money you're going to start earning. As far as the passiveness of this opportunity actually goes, I give it a nine. And the reason being is because it is almost entirely passive, but not quite because you do want to make sure that you're up to date with things because these APYs are going to fluctuate and they're generally going to come down over time as more and more people start competing and start staking. As far as the earning potential goes, I'd give this a five because you still do need to have a decent amount of capital in order to make serious income with staking. So overall, I'd give staking cryptocurrencies a 7.3 and I'd say that the big risks involved is that cryptocurrencies are still new and there still is a lot of scams out there. So it is a higher risk, higher reward sort of passive income opportunity. Number three is chat GPT arbitrage. So there's a lot of opportunities here. If you're not familiar with chat GPT, you must be living under a rock. It's been the fastest growing platform ever in the history. It's an artificial intelligence, pretty much the first artificial intelligence that's really been widely made available to the public. It's a free platform at the time being, and it can do some amazing stuff. It can do anything from writing you stuff. It can uh, make up custom workout plans. It can simplify and summarize books for you in literally a second. It can literally do anything that you want. And I think one of the big opportunities here is to actually create an SEO service. So there's literally millions of small local businesses in America, and there's an opportunity to rank their websites in their local market. So for example, if I was looking for Dallas plumbers and we wanted our listing to come up soon, one of the ways that you'd want to do this is by writing blog articles with relevant keywords in it. And again, if you're not familiar with SEO, you could literally spend one day, watch a bunch of YouTube videos for free, and you could learn the basics of SEO and get out and start actually having results. Or you go to a website like Udemy, you could take a paid course for 50 or hundred bucks and pretty much know the basics of what you need to do with SEO. And you can offer these services to business owners for anywhere from like a thousand to $10,000 per month, depending upon how good you get at this. But the cool part about this is you can come in here to chat GBT and you can say, write me an article about the best way to fix a clogged sink drain. And literally what you'll see is you'll see it start to write out a well-written article for you in literally just the matter of like one minute. Now, the thing to be wary about with this is that yes, you're gonna be able to have this article written out for you, but Google is starting to look at these AI platforms for plagiarism. So what you can then do is take the article that it actually writes for you, come in here to a, a website called wordtune.com, and it's basically a Chrome extension, and it'll rewrite each sentence for you, so that way it's undetectable by by Google's algorithm. So I think there's a lot of arbitrage opportunities with ChatGPT, one being SEO. You can do a lot of other opportunities here with you know writing custom meal plans or writing custom workout plans, but the opportunity is really, really big. And it's kind of similar to what we talked about previously with starting a video marketing agency. This could be like an SEO marketing agency. Again, the opportunity is big because you can charge a thousand to $10,000 per month and you can use basically a VA. You take a course for a day or two and then boom, you have everything that you need to do. And the hardest part about SEO normally was writing all these articles. It was expensive, it was time consuming, and now you can pump out articles like boom. So as far as the capital required for this, I'd give it a nine because it doesn't really require any capital. ChatGPT is free. If you want to hire a VA, maybe it's going to be, you know, 500 or a thousand dollars per month. As far as the passiveness goes, I'd give this a five because it does take some of your time to actually go out there and to find these clients. But if you just find a few clients and you do a good job with them, then they can literally pay you passive income for quite a period of time. And as far as the earning potential goes, I'd rate it high. I'd give it an eight because this is a very low cost to you. It doesn't cost you anything to pump out these articles. Maybe you have to pay a VA, but the earning potential is very, very big. So overall, I'd give this an average score of 7.3. The next opportunity is investing in scarce, rare, collectible items like rare coins, cards, stamps, art, guitars, 
all of this sort of stuff. If you have a passion for any of these, then this is an interesting opportunity to earn passive income and grow your net worth. So for example, I'm a sports fanatic. I love sports, especially I love basketball. And I can see that a lot of basketball cards, if you're able to find good players before they become really, really popular and you buy their rookie card, then you can buy it for relatively cheap. And some of these cards will literally sell for hundreds of thousands, some cards even millions of dollars over time. So this is kind of a fun way to bet on players that you like and the earning potential is really, really high. Now, the reason why I think this is an interesting opportunity for 2023, because if you look at the basketball card index or any card index, for example, we've seen a massive, massive downturn. A lot of cards are trading at a discount. And I'm not saying that these cards couldn't go lower. They definitely could. But at the same time, you're definitely getting a discount compared to where these were priced in 2022 and 2021. And when the economy starts to shape up more, rare collectibles that have a scarce number, just like with sports cards, they only make X amount of a certain player rookie card. These are things that tend to go up in value over time. Same thing with like really, really expensive like whiskeys or alcohols or, you know, beachfront property. They're not making any more of these things. And so over time, the value of these assets go up. So as far as capital required goes for this sort of situation, I'd give it a seven. I'd say that there are a lot of card opportunities that you can get in for just a thousand bucks or so. As far as the passiveness goes of this, I'd give it maybe like an eight. Maybe it does take some time to like, you know, research which players you should invest in. But if you're a sports fan, the chances are you're already doing this. So you should already have a decent idea. And I'd give the earning potential actually an eight as well. Especially if you bet on popular players that are only going to become more popular then the opportunity you can really make quite a bit of money over the years. So overall, I'd give this a 7.7. .7. And the number one opportunity for 2023, I would say is something called prop farming. And I don't think anybody's really aware of this unless you've been following our channel. Now, if you're not familiar with what prop firms are, they're basically these large capital firms that are looking to hire good traders. And if you can prove to them that you're a good trader, they'll fund you with like $100,000 or more, and they'll let you keep like 80 to 90% of the profits. Now, one of the biggest prop firms in the industry is one called FTMO. And the way that it works, you'll basically pay a fee to take a test. And if you can pass their test, they'll give you access to like $100,000 worth of trading capital. And if you just have $100,000 worth of trading capital, and if you can just make one, two, three, four percent per month, then you can make some pretty great passive income. And I know you may be thinking, well, Adam, I don't know anything about trading. I don't have the time to do trading. And the best part about this and the prop farming opportunity is to actually use automated trading robots to go ahead and pass these tests for you, and then to go on and use the funded accounts and to start earning passive income. So we've been doing this for about a year now, and we've had really crazy success stories. We've had guys that have got funded like $800,000 worth of trading capital. Imagine just doing 1% per month. That's eight grand per month. And he never had to take a trade manually. We recently had a retired eye doctor that got funded $20 million from these prop firms. And he just had a million dollar payout from these prop firms. And he never took a trade manually. Now I'm not guaranteeing these are going to be your results with this because like anything in trading, there is risks involved, but these prop firms are an interesting opportunity, especially if you're interested in trading because you can get access to large amounts of capital. You don't have to risk your own capital and you can start to make passive income if you're trading with robots. And if you're interested in seeing a quick demo and case study of how we've been actually able to do this, go on over to propfarming.com. We put together like a 10 minute video explaining exactly how this process works more in depth. So overall, how would I rate this opportunity? As far as capital required goes, I'd give this a nine because you can start with as little as like 150 or $500 to take your very first test to get funded. I'd give the passiveness of this opportunity about an eight because all it requires is a bit of time to set up the robot. Maybe you do that once every other week when you're trying to pass a test. But after that, it's fairly passive because the robot does the trading for you. And then as far as earning potential goes, I'd give this a nine out of 10 earning potential. As far as the risk to reward of how much money you have to risk and the reward of what you can actually earn, I'd give this a nine out of 10. Like I mentioned, we just recently had an, a retired eye doctor got paid out a million dollars, which was pretty crazy. And again, I'm not saying that this is going to be your results. That result was uncommon. However, the opportunity to just earn one or 2% on hundred thousand dollars or more is pretty awesome. And if you found this video, like subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss other helpful videos.